Hi, this is Mark News from Plant Talk Radio. Thanks for subscribing and listening to our podcast, Your Gardening Questions from Plant Talk Radio. To keep this podcast free, we're partnering with Stoke Seeds. Indoor seed starting is fun, easy, and economical, and now's the time to start your seeds. If you're looking to grow a vegetable variety or add a punch of color to your flower garden, review the Stoke Seed Starting Guide online. You'll find information about soil preparation, moisture, temperature, light, transplanting, and more. The Stoke Seeds website is a complete resource center that you need to make your garden the envy of the neighborhood. Get growing with Stokes. We'll have more to come from Stoke Seeds in the next few weeks now for today's question. Uh, we got an email question from Will, and he says that I planted all colors of creeping flocks, blue, light pink, dark pink, and white. But over the years, they almost all have turned blue. Uh, is the blue just taking over from the other colors, or do they actually change color? No. Uh, a lot of times what happens is the dominant colors in the plant uh, tend to perform more than the ones that aren't dominant. So uh, sometimes you'll see where blue, being a dominant color, will aggressively move through the uh, different colors of uh, of flocks and and choke choke the other colors out, mm-hmm. so that you eventually have one color there. Uh, of course, if you've got them planted in different places, then you can <clears throat> maintain some of that, those colors that you've selected. But if they happen to be all in one bed together, the dominant color typically will take over. There are very few things that are as beautiful as a patch of flocks in the oh, spring. Oh, my, yes. Yeah, and, and uh, you know, that vibrant colors that, the pinks and the mm-hmm. the blues are just astounding there the way they uh way they flower uh and then you know even when the flowers are gone you have a nice green carpet there they don't bloom too long in the season a lot of times it depends on the temperature but but uh you know they're not a long flowering plant but they do have a nice color yeah it's one of those uh you talk about patience yeah, that's what, I mean, you know, 50 weeks out of the year and then, you know, two weeks of absolute brilliant color. Right. Right. They are very nice. And I see people get creative with flocks a lot, too. I see them, you know, they'll have a I, I saw one re, uh, a couple of years ago. They had a barrel out and like it had spilled out. And then the flocks was was coming out. It almost looked like a stream. Right. Right. Yeah. Yeah, there's uh you can get really creative with plants sometimes uh mm-hmm. and uh and create those beautiful uh street stopper uh flowering plants in your in your landscape and flocks are one of them. Now, uh talk about containing flocks. I mean, you don't you don't want it to go everywhere if you have you know, it's like a ground cover. Uh how do you keep that uh, contained? Well, uh, a couple different suggestions. One is you can put down uh, like a steel edging, Mm -hmm. so when they grow up to that edging, they don't they don't grow any farther. Uh, And the other the other thing you can do is uh, each spring when you're doing your uh, work in the bed, if they're starting to creep out too far, you can take the spade and just uh, uh, trim them off. to the area that you want to contain them to. Mm-hmm. Um, so those are a couple ways that you can take care of that. Hey, thanks again for listening to the podcast. Remember, lose the winter blues and garden indoors. Start your indoor seeds with the help of Stokes Gardening Guide and their online articles. For the best selection of vegetable, flower, and herb seeds available, go to stokeseeds.com. Catalogs are still available. Stoke Seeds, cultivating successful growers for generations.